what's the DUP view, Gregory Campbell? Because often people from the Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales sit in the Commons and they come out and say, we want cuts if that's what they have to do in the rest of the country, but protect our economy above all else. Yeah, well, no, I, I think everyone realises cuts are coming, but we want a proportionate uh, approach so that we don't be asked to bear uh, overly what we should be asked to bear on a pro rata basis. But I think we will be looking forward to the budget very shortly, and we will then want to see the first two or three months to see what impact the budget has, because I think interest rates are going to start going up within the next 12 months. Is unemployment going to start to rise? What's the approach going to be on capital gains tax? There are a number of issues that we'll want to see, which I think the summer and the early autumn will begin to tell us, is the approach of the new government working, or is it a retrograde step? Now, the Savile inquiry has been dominating Westminster, of course, this week. In your view, as an MP for East London Derry, after yesterday, where do things go now? Sean Woodward, the former Northern Ireland Secretary this morning, suggested there should be some kind of truth and reconciliation committee. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, I think Sean has said that, but he ought to know that there has been a lot of resistance in Northern Ireland to that, just because of the South African example and other examples, where it becomes very costly, and we've seen the cost of the Savile inquiry. It becomes a very prolonged process, and probably worst of all, it would lend some sort of credibility to those terrorists who might try to use it as a justification for what they did rather than an apology. I think as a result of yesterday's unequivocal statement from the Prime Minister, I think in order to bring closure, a lot of people in Northern Ireland would like to see equal unambiguous statements now from the Republican terrorists who would put their hands up and say, we committed wrong, we did wrong. We, we, we're going to say the same as the Prime Minister has done. I think that would do more to bring closure than opening up a can of worms, which a Truth and Reconciliation Commission might be. Is it realistic to expect that, though? Well, it, some people may argue it wasn't realistic for the Prime Minister to do what he did yesterday. He did that uh, for the actions of one day of a few soldiers. There are many people who committed actions much worse than that over 10,000 days in 30 years. I think the least we could ask is an apology from them. But